Well, local bar owners are fighting back against a complaint filed with the city claiming they discriminated against a lesbian couple. Uh, the owners of the Sanchez Ice House held a press conference tonight to tell their side of the story. Aaron Nichols is live downtown at the bar to tell us how the owners are gaining support and what the couple has to say. Aaron. Mike and Elisa, as you can see behind me, a huge crowd showed up here tonight to support Sanchez Ice House. Now, earlier, the bar owner's daughter defended her parents and said they didn't do anything wrong and will continue with business as usual. Owners of the Sanchez Ice House stood firm in their convictions of being a family-oriented business after their former patrons, Maricela Fonseca and Gina Ramirez, filed a complaint against the establishment under San Antonio's non-discrimination ordinance. Maricela and Gina say they were dancing at the Ice House one night back in June and gave each other a peck on the lips. We were approached by the security guard, and I'd like to say that he apologized, first of all, for even having to approach us, and he stated that we didn't do anything wrong, but the owners asked him to tell us to leave because they don't allow the lesbians to dance and kiss. The ordinance prohibits discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, and veteran status, specifically in places where the public is allowed, such as bars. But we certainly were discriminated that evening. But the owner's daughter, Sharon Castillo, says the couple was not discriminated against. The patrons were basically uh, displaying excessive affection on the dance floor. According to Castillo, management asked the security guard to tell the couple their behavior was inappropriate. They were never asked by management to leave the premises and never was there any mention about their sexual preference. Castillo says there may have been a miscommunication between the security guard and management, but that security guard is no longer working there. Maricela and Gina stand by their story. We were not being vulgar, we were not being lewd, we were simply dancing and showing innocent affection towards each other. And we have a right to do that, just like everybody else does. Now, a spokesperson for the city told us earlier that the case is now being handled by the San Antonio Police Department. If enough evidence is found, the case could go to court. And if the bar is found in violation of the ordinance, they could be fined up to $500. We're live downtown, Aaron Nichols, Fox News at 9.